Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. Um, I'm here today with the final decision of what tree I'm going to be putting in the ground right behind me. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that I had a debate whether I should put a pomegranate or my blood orange. Well, it's neither. I'm actually putting my mandarin satsuma. Um, I'm going to show you guys the steps I'm going to take to get this in the ground and what I'm going to do. But um, at the end, I'll go ahead and have a chat with you guys in regards to this tree and why I decided to use this tree instead of the other two and the uh, pros and cons all right guys we'll have a little chat after this let's get to it all right guys let's get started first things first we gotta dig a hole I'm gonna walk you step by step on what I'm doing to get this tree in the ground all right guys really quick let me show you the products I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using the palm and cactus and citrus from the Kellogg's um, company this is very porous and it drains really well I don't have a good draining soil in my uh, my land here so I'm gonna go ahead and add this you guys know that I love adding warm plants in all my plantings sure star this container has some EB stone sure star I'm just using this container to store the product and I'm going to be putting some compost from my compost bin <laughs> All right, guys, so um, let's get started and so you guys can see the steps I'm taking. While you watch me struggling, get, trying to get this tree out of the container, I want to tell you what I just did. I went ahead and added all the products that I'm going to be using for this tree. And what I did is I used the native soil and mixed it all together. So when I put this tree in the ground, it's going to have 50 native and 50 of the soil that I mixed together for it. Yay! I got it out! The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the root ball is not too low. And since in this case it was too low, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more soil and mix it in. As you can see, I poured out all the soil that was in my container. And at the bottom of my container, I had recycled water bottles because I usually add that to save money and to allow my tree to have some more drainage. Now that I backfill this hole a little bit more, I went and measured the tree and it seemed about the perfect spot. Keep in mind when you put trees in the ground you don't want your root ball to be completely below the soil in fact if you can see some of the roots on the very top layer that would be ideal something i didn't mention earlier just make sure that the hole you dig for your new tree that is twice or three times bigger than the root ball as you can see this hole was definitely about three times bigger than the root ball the root ball wasn't that big so it was perfect as you can see here, I'm adding pressure to the soil to ensure that there's no air bubbles. Then I'm going to add some compost to the top layer and just mix it in. Let me step back so you can see what it looks like. And while I rake these wood chips, I want to talk to you about why I decided to put the Tatsuma tree instead of my pomegranate and my blood orange. The and why I chose the Satsuma tree is because it was evergreen and you guys know that I wanted to keep this landscape evergreen and beautiful that way it looked beautiful from both the courtyard and the garden side. Satsumas are pretty small in nature and pretty compact. They're also a heavy producer and they're moderate in growing so that's perfect for this area. I didn't want something too invasive and too fast growing. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is adding mulch. Mulch is so important because citrus have little feeder roots on the top layer of the soil. So you want to make sure that that layer is constantly moist and protected from the elements. As most of you guys know, most of my trees are growing as Spiller style. This tree is going to be growing the same way against this fence. I'll show you guys a different video on how to train your trees as Spiller. But not least, we have to water this tree. It's very important that you do this after every transplant because it will reduce the bubbles and it will help your tree get established. Now, if you made it this far, the last tip I'm going to give you is to make sure that you do your transplant in the afternoon. That is because your tree will get some rest from the sun and will be recovering overnight. Hey guys, hey so guys. we're done. This is Diana from Garden Love. Yeah, and this is Lily from Garden Love. Yeah. Lily's so excited because I put a tree yeah. that's... I'm going to see. Okay, and go. This is one of the orange trees. So exciting. Uh, which, 
and we get to or this. Yeah, because I don't gonna... know. I don't know if it's the, the little orange or the big oranges. I think it's going to be the little oranges. It's a Satsuma orange. They're going to be the size of a cutie. That's going to be tasty, right? Yeah. All right. So, so some of the bigger ones are delicious. Yes. The other tree? Yeah. Oh, they were so good, huh? Yeah. We're going to grow some more and, and, and my mom, she planted some and some grass ate it. Oh yeah, yeah. They, we had some rodents that took them because they were so delicious, huh? Yeah, because the one didn't eat it all. No? No, because he just left some in there and then we couldn't eat it because it got um, retro. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And... But we ate most of them. Yeah. They were so good and sweet. Were they sweet? Yeah. Super sweet? And uh, last time we went to the dentist, uh -huh. And I got a toy and then jelly broke it. <laughs> and then the dentist said I have cavity. Yeah. Ooh, so no more sugar for you. Only only fruit, huh? Yeah. Because I gotta brush my teeth and make my teeth go better. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys found it informative and I hopefully it inspired you to so, um, grow something in your garden. And Lily wants to say something. Go ahead. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button. And don't forget, and if you want to watch more of our comments, then just comment down below. Oh yeah, good job, Lily. All right, guys, you guys have a blessed day. Bye bye. Bye. This is Lily from Garden Love. I hope you like it. Goodbye.